This is the Grand Canyon, and it's located in the northwestern part of Arizona, United States. And it's one of the most breathtaking natural wonders on Earth, stretching for approximately 277 miles. It was carved over millions of years by the Colorado River, revealing mesmerizing layers of colorful rock formations. Situated within the vast Colorado Plateau, the canyon boasts a maximum width of 18 miles and a depth that reaches over a mile in certain areas, showcasing the immense power of nature's forces. Nestled amidst the arid desert landscape, the Grand Canyon offers visitors awe-inspiring vistas, hiking trails, and a chance to witness the sheer magnificence of geological history. But scientists just discovered something here that terrifies the whole world. We have an astonishing revelation that will send shivers down your spine and challenge everything you thought you knew about the natural wonders of our planet. What was discovered and why is it so terrifying? Let's find out. The Grand Canyon Just hearing those words evokes images of a vast and awe-inspiring landscape carved by the forces of nature over millions of years. This iconic landmark, located in Arizona, USA, is a testament to the Earth's remarkable geological history and an enduring testament to the power of erosion. So, how was this magnificent wonder created? Let's travel back in time to explore the captivating story behind the formation of the Grand Canyon. It all began around 70 million years ago, when the area was covered by an ancient sea. Over time, layers of sediment such as sand, mud, and limestone accumulated at the bottom. These layers compressed and hardened into rock, forming what geologists call sedimentary rock. Fast forward to about 6 million years ago, and the Colorado River, along with its tributaries, started to etch its way through these layers. The river acted as a relentless sculptor, cutting through this solid rock with incredible force. As the water flowed downhill, it eroded and carried away the softer layers of rock more easily, while the harder, more resistant layers remained intact. This relentless erosion is what gave birth to the Grand Canyon as we know it today. Layer by layer, the Colorado River and the forces of nature gradually carved out this breathtaking chasm, exposing the ancient rock layers that reveal the Earth's geological history like pages in a book. But the Grand Canyon is more than just a spectacular sight. It's a geological treasure trove, offering scientists a glimpse into the Earth's past. The exposed rock layers act as a timeline, showcasing millions of years of Earth's history, including evidence of ancient seas, volcanic activity, and even the impact of meteorites. One of the mind-blowing aspects of the Grand Canyon is its sheer size, spanning approximately 277 miles in length, up to 18 miles in width, and reaching depths of over a mile. This immense chasm is a humbling reminder of nature's grandeur. Standing on the rim and gazing into the vast expanse is enough to make anyone feel small in comparison. But it's not just the size that leaves us in awe, it's the intricate and varied beauty found within the canyon itself. As the sunlight dances across the walls, it paints a breathtaking palette of colors, vibrant reds, deep oranges, and earthy browns, revealing the intricate patterns and textures of rock layers. Furthermore, the Grand Canyon is a stargazer's paradise. With minimal light pollution and its remote location, the night sky above the canyon reveals a celestial tapestry like no other. Millions of stars twinkle in the darkness, and the Milky Way stretches across the heavens, casting an ethereal glow on the rugged landscape below. Every twist and turn in the canyon presents a new perspective, as if each corner holds a hidden secret waiting to be discovered. And speaking of secrets, the Grand Canyon continues to reveal surprises that boggle the mind. In recent years, researchers have discovered hidden ecosystems thriving in unexpected places within the canyon. Lush forests of ferns and mosses cling to the canyon walls, fed by natural springs and protected from scorching desert heat. These remarkable ecosystems provide a haven for unique plant and animal species, some of which are found nowhere else in the world. But it didn't end there. Recently, a new discovery has been made that has sent shockwaves. Joe Rogan Experience Recently, Joe Rogan, the popular podcaster, had an interesting discussion on his show about some fascinating discoveries in the Grand Canyon. Surprisingly, there's evidence suggesting that ancient Egyptians might have been present there. Now, I know what you're thinking. How could this even be possible? Egypt is in Africa, while the Grand Canyon is in North America, separated by a whopping 12,000 kilometers of Atlantic Ocean. 
It sounds implausible, but let's dive into the details. According to Rogan's guest, who shared this intriguing information, the Smithsonian Institution published some findings back in 1909 that shed light on the activities of the ancient Egyptians in the Grand Canyon. It seems that within a restricted area of the canyon, there are pyramids and caves adorned with hieroglyphics and Egyptian artifacts. This discovery, if true, is mind-blowing. What adds to the mystery is the claim that authorities have deliberately kept this knowledge hidden for almost a century. To maintain secrecy, the airspace over this specific area is even restricted. The secrecy surrounding the findings raises even more questions about what might truly lie within the depths of the Grand Canyon. Exploring the area around the pyramid and cave in the Grand Canyon is no easy task. While it's technically legal to visit, it poses significant risks due to its treacherous nature. Despite these obstacles, people continue to venture into this section of the canyon, driven by a desire to uncover its secrets. Unfortunately, over the years, many individuals have been arrested, and some have even lost their lives while attempting to reach these sacred sites. One particularly noteworthy discovery in the Grand Canyon is a cave known as Kincaid's Cave, named after the first explorer who ventured inside. G. E. Kincaid, a former Marine turned archaeologist working for S.A. Jordan, played a pivotal role in the exploration of this cave. Located approximately 400 feet above the Colorado River, this man-made cabin, estimated to be around 3,000 years old, rests on a cliff wall within the Grand Canyon, stretching over 500 feet in length. The cabin features numerous cross tunnels that led to expansive chambers. Interestingly, this cabin marks the lowest level of the final Egyptian tunnel city within the Grand Canyon. Archaeologists estimate that the Colorado River has eroded around 300 feet lower since the construction of the ancient marvel, highlighting the passage of time and the changing landscape. If you're liking this video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Kincaid's cave held numerous astonishing discoveries, including a remarkable artifact made of pure gold that was dedicated to the Egyptian king Cayenne. This precious relic portrayed the king holding lotus flowers, a symbol native to Egypt. Interestingly, this discovery was made in the caves situated at the first cross tunnel, which coincidentally occupied the same position as the shrines found in the tunnel cities of Egypt's renowned Valley of the Kings. Prior to the era when Egyptian kings began constructing pyramids and above-ground cities, it was revealed that Cayenne traced his lineage back to King Zaphnid of Egypt, who is believed by some to be the biblical figure Joseph. Deep within the tunnel city, interconnected with Kincaid's cave, an ancient Egyptian golden tablet was also uncovered. This tablet serves as a historical account, chronicling events from King Zaphnit's arrival in Aslan to the subsequent journey of his descendant, King Kayan, to the Grand Canyon. Interestingly, a few of the only historical artifacts from the Grand Canyon that are publicly displayed can be found at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. These include the pure gold artifacts retrieved from Kincaid's cave and the Egyptian urns discovered in Powell's cave. However, the fate of the remaining relics uncovered in the Grand Canyon remains unclear. While some were photographed and documented, others seem to have disappeared from public knowledge. John Wesley Powell, an American explorer and archaeologist, embarked on a memorable expedition to the Grand Canyon. Powell teamed up with Jacob Vernon Hamblin, a Native American who joined the expedition in place of Powell's late partner. Powell was employed by the U.S. Department of the Interior and had a broader objective in mind – to explore and map the uncharted territory of the Colorado River and its surrounding canyons. Little did he know that his journey would uncover hints of a remarkable presence from ancient Egypt. While Powell's primary focus wasn't specifically on finding Egyptian artifacts, his adventures led him to stumble upon something truly fascinating. As he and his team delved deeper into the Grand Canyon, they encountered structures reminiscent of Egyptian architecture, such as pyramids and temples, concealed within the rugged cliffs. These structures were adorned with hieroglyphics and contained relics resembling those discovered in the tombs of ancient Egypt. The significance of these findings prompted Powell to diligently document and report his discoveries to the Smithsonian Institution, seeking recognition and further investigation. To his astonishment, Powell's revelations faced skepticism and disbelief within the scientific community. Allegedly, the Smithsonian suppressed the information, effectively burying it away from the public eye. The motives behind this suppression remain the subject of much speculation. 
Some propose that it was an effort to protect prevailing historical narratives, while others suggest that it aimed to safeguard the flourishing tourism industry centered around the Grand Canyon. Throughout the years, numerous independent researchers and daring adventurers have embarked on quests to unravel the truth surrounding the alleged presence of ancient Egyptians in the Grand Canyon. Some intrepid individuals have managed to navigate the challenging terrain, reaching the restricted areas and documenting their findings. These accounts have only added to the enigma and intrigue surrounding this mystery. However, due to the lack of official recognition and extensive scientific investigation, these claims have largely remained in the realm of speculation and conspiracy theories. It's important to acknowledge that the notion of ancient Egyptians in the Grand Canyon may seem far-fetched at first glance. Nevertheless, alternative theories have emerged, offering explanations that challenge conventional thinking. These theories propose concepts like transonic travel and cultural diffusion, suggesting that ancient civilizations possessed the capability to voyage across vast distances and establish connections with far-flung lands. These notions potentially shed light on the presence of Egyptian influences and in unexpected locations, such as the Grand Canyon. The enduring enigma surrounding the supposed Egyptian artifacts in the Grand Canyon adds an extra layer of fascination to its already captivating story. While the existence of ancient Egyptians in the region lacks solid verification and remains a subject of debate, it ignites our curiosity and sparks our imaginations. It prompts us to question established historical narratives and invites us to delve into the hidden recesses of our world's past. Whether the truth behind the mysteries of the Grand Canyon will ever fully be uncovered remains uncertain. However, the allure of ancient civilizations, the tantalizing remnants they may have left behind, and the endless possibilities continue to pique our interest. This captivating puzzle appeals to both